we've just seen a common fiscal, now we have their cousin, the Greyback Fiscal Shrike. Now, like the common fiscal, they are well known for impaling insects on thorns. And uh, my grandpa used to call them Jackie Hangmen, or the whole fiscal family. Now, of course, they don't do this out of malice or spite. Uh, they do it to keep a larder of food. Now, I have heard a bird we haven't seen before. We have seen the greyback fiscal. And now they've gone quiet. I'm just going to move around. But I'm sure all of you are very excited to find another parrot species. Now, as the wind's not too strong, we've got a bit more of a chance. We're down near Samaki Swamp. And in these little tree islands, not only do we have a really good chance at some lovely birds, but this is where the black rhino like to hang out as well. So there's a cow and calf that I've seen quite regularly in this area. But we're going to try for these mayor's parrots off the bat. They were, it sounded like they were in one of these trees. There they are. You can hear them screeching. Now we just got to spot them. So they've got blue and yellow on them. Um, do I need to go forward, Sense? Yes, please. Sure. I can't spot them yet. I think they're on the other side of the tree. Let's just go around. You see them? Okay, I'm just trying to get a visual of them. They're being very noisy. Squawk, squawk, squawk. I think I see them. Okay, you can hear the squawking, let's get my binos out, let's see if I can, look in that little sort of gully on the left there, Sens, on the left, up a bit, up a bit, yeah, there, in there, I saw some movement, where are my binoculars, oh, that, good. They're in both trees. I'm just trying to get one that's out in the open. Isn't this frustrating? We can hear them squawking away. Show yourself, parrot. Let's have a look in the other tree. Maybe they're more visible there. They're right in the thickets there. You can hear them all around. There, sense. Okay, um, come out to that one, top of that tree. There we go. One male's parrot delivered at the top of an Abyssinica, a Diospyros Abyssinica. So, a relative of our jackalberry. Now, I don't know if we can see, there's a little yellow dot on his nose and sort of greeny blue on the underside. That is, there we go. I'm very happy we managed to see them, even though they squawk, 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 squawk. Very vocal birds. Okay, let's keep moving through this area. I really like this area. Oh, wait, let's see, they might fly a bit closer. So he's going to land it. On top of the street, closer to us. Okay, let's just go back a skosh. And you, you might be able to get a nice... Oh, goodness, pucker. There we go. That's it. In the beautiful afternoon light. Now you need to turn... Oops, sorry, he sends that was my fault. And you can see that greeny blue. Now, we want him to turn his head towards us. Come on, show us your face, pretty parrot. There we go. You see that very distinct yellow uh, above his beak. Very noisy birds, constantly squawking around in the forests. The mayor's parrot. Everybody's wondering, does he have a lot of green on him? 
he is quite green, but also it's actually quite blue. But he's got that very distinct yellow on his forehead. Now, he's brown mostly on top. There we go. Come on, turn towards us, please, Mr. Parrot. Now, of course, uh, the reason they like these Abyssinicas, they're, they're diasporas, so they're ebonies, and uh, they do have lovely fruit, and that's what attracts them to these trees. Oh, he's off. He's off, he's off, he's off, and so are we! If Fucker will let us. Oh, I see some more birds up ahead. Now, the nice thing about birding slowly through an area like this is we do have a very good chance of those rhinoceri. We still haven't managed to find a sooty chat. It's amazing. As soon as we're off air, they're everywhere. I always check carefully through here for the rhino. I've seen them here a lot of times. I've also seen male lions in here as well. Okay, well, we're going to keep searching for whatever we might be able to find. And uh, as it gets later and the sun starts dipping, we're going to start heading towards this continent. But it sounds like the sun is already dipping with Byron.